the ultimate uh, reminder of the story this morning from Luke is that seeds need nourishing in order to grow. And Jesus, later on that very week, provided the disciples that which they asked for, a faith-growing experience by nourishing them with his, the gift of his life. And so we remember that gift and nourishment is provided regularly for us all every time we gather around this table and hear that on the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, he broke it, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples to eat, saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you, do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup and blessed it. He gave it to all to drink, saying, this cup is the new promise of my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of your sins. Drink this knowing that your sins are forgiven, and do this in remembrance of me. Let us pause to celebrate the gift that we're given and say thank you to the one who gives it freely by praying together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for all God's people now come. All is ready.